Hello, I'm the director of American Feud, a history of conservatives and liberals. In the summer of 2004, I set out to talk to a wide variety of people, from Noam Chomsky to G. Gordon Liddy to Howard Zinn to Mona Sharon. I talked to partisans and nonpartisans, libertarians, radicals, and none of the above. We called this effort Liberalism and Conservatism 101 for Citizens Fed Up with the Status Quo. The documentary was completed in 2008. Lo and behold, in 2016, the citizens are still fed up with the status quo. I have decided to update and re-release American Feud because I believe that knowing the history of liberalism and conservatism is the only way we can begin to understand the bizarre state of American politics. Modern liberalism began as a protest against the so-called robber barons who were perceived as revolutionizing American society and revolutionizing it not in a, a positive sense, in dividing the rich from the poor. America has always been much more skeptical about the centralized state than any European country. No government ever voluntarily reduces itself in size. Actually, a government bureau is the nearest thing to eternal life we'll ever see on this earth. There was a baseball player once who said he's got second base so messed up nobody can play it. Today's liberals have messed up the word liberal so bad nobody wants it. When you talk to Democrats and they'll tell you that there is no such thing as the working class anymore. And I mean, they're, they're so utterly pessimistic about these people that used to be their base. Uh, it's astonishing to me. The difficulty I face now in the, the new century is that my idea of reckless and counterproductive is exemplified by a conservatism which is not <laughs> conservatism. The process over 16 years that Newt took was to basically create a more conservative and radicalized party and have Republicans despise Democrats, not just see them as adversaries, but as the enemy, and have a country disgusted with Congress, which means they'd be disgusted with government, which means they would want the party that was against government. We're gonna drain the swamp of Washington. We're gonna have fun doing it. We're all doing it together. It is funny. Freedom here, there's no place to escape.